Mission will be Bill Graham, Davey Pearl, and Lou Tabbitt. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the bell is Mitch Halpern. And now, man your battle station, scheduled for 10 rounds. This is in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 133 pounds. He's from Dallas, Texas, and brings a professional record of 12 victories with 10 KOs against seven defeats and four draws. He's ranked by the IBF, and he is the former IBF featherweight champion of the world, Troy Darcy. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with gold letters, weighing 133 and one half pounds from Los Angeles, California, East LA to be exact. He brings an undefeated record of seven and oh, six by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the 1992 Olympic gold medal champion, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. That's referee Mitch Halpern who will work this 10-round fight. The judges are Bill Graham, Lou Tabbitt, and Davey Pearl, a longtime referee, now uh, acting as judge in this match here in the state of Nevada. De La Hoya in the white trunks, Troy Dorsey in the black. Troy Dorsey from Fort Worth, the stable of Dave Gorman, and fights a lot like a stable mate there. Gene Hatcher, now retired, former WBA champion. A pressure guy will come in and won't quit. He'll throw a ton of punches and keep pressure on you, and that's what we expect to see. And he's trying to get underneath the taller De La Hoya right now. Right, he's fighting in a crab-like style, Tim. He's trying to stay very, very low. Dorsey told us that De La Hoya had not seen anybody uh, like him thus far in his seven pro fights, and he feels if he can get him through the first few rounds that he can win this bout. And he's very respectful of the power of the young De La Hoya. For De La Hoya's part, he said this is the kind of fighter that he wanted to face. And he just rocked Dorsey with a left hand. I like that move of De La Hoya. He landed one left hook, little step to the right, and threw another one. Here we see the, the talent of Oscar De La Hoya. And already Dorsey is busted up. Over the right eyebrow, right on the corner of the eyebrow. It looks like a serious cut, Tim. And that'll run into his eye and make it difficult for him early. And now you can see Dorsey's trying to pursue, but you can see De La Hoya side to side. Look at him spin off the ropes out into the middle. This is a kid, Tim, so far I can't find any fault with him at all. He seems to have it all. Yeah, look at that move. Dorsey at age 30 uh, in his boxing wars and no doubt in his kickboxing wars has been through this before. It won't bother him except from a vision point of view, but he has been cut. Well, Tim, I'm surprised that the uh, referee hasn't uh, stopped the fight to at least take a look at the cut because it is a serious cut. Dorsey was in a kickboxing match just about six weeks ago over in Paris, France, when he got the call saying he could have this fight. Tim, watch this lateral movement of Oscar De La Hoya. Beautiful, side to side, left to right. And now referee Mitch Halpern has stopped the action to have the doctor, Flip Homansky, examine the cut. Only the referee here in the state of Nevada makes the decision, but of course uh, he has the counsel of the doctors over there. Let him finish his round. Now you heard Flip Amansky say, let him finish this round. And I heard Troy Dorsey say, I can go. Talk about a tough guy. He is a tough guy. Dorsey's lost his last two outings, but he is in shape, as we said, because he was in full training for about against a 148-pound kickboxer, about he lost in Paris. Another good left hook by De La Hoya. And he is, look at those short combinations. Look at those punches. Dorsey trying to cover up and find a way to attack, now throwing punches.
keeping the pressure on, but Delahoya not bothered by it at all. Well, you got to work in close. You got to get in close to him, and, and that's all fun. You get inside. Yep. You hesitate, just let, yeah. just let him go. Don't look okay. for a target. You got to yeah. turn him loose. Yeah, you're not letting him close. So, so. You got I'm fine. One. You got a bad one, baby. You got to get. You got to get him. You got to get him out Close in one or two more rounds. That's all they're gonna let us have. They ain't gonna give us much, boy. You got to. You got to. You got to get. You got to get it over with this round. It ain't bothering me. Keep your eye closed while he's got that medicine in there. It ain't bothering me. Okay, take it off and let me see. Well, Tim, it shows you the punches landed. I didn't see Dawson not landing bothering. 26 punches in that oh, round. Troy, you got to let your hands flow inside. We got it. Now, Dorsey's own corner telling him that it's a bad cut. And, in fact, the referee, Mitch Halpern, is not going to let him come out for the second round. And so it is all over. Oscar De La Hoya with a second round stoppage as the referee, Mitch Halpern, does not allow Dorsey to come out. His own corner was saying to Dorsey, if you can't knock him out in the next round or two, they won't let us go any farther with this bad cut. So a tough break for Troy Dorsey, who was more than willing to continue. But Oscar De La Hoya was just going to be too much for this Let's take veteran anyway. There's that left hook right on the right eye. And there's another straight right hand. Timmy threw so many yeah. accurate punches. I don't know which one was the one that really busted him up, but they were clean punches. Well, I think on that replay, just the way that uh, Dorsey winced, it might well have been that left hand at the very beginning of that replay. But uh, De La Hoya is now... 8-0 and in the pro ranks with an easier stoppage than even he might have expected against Troy Dorsey. is very disappointed having uh, not the opportunity to go back out for the second round because of the cut. Oscar De La Hoya from Los Angeles, California showing just a sample of his wares here. One round of action at the Thomas and Mac Arena to move his pro record to 8-0 and with seven knockouts.